Well guys, today I will show you the installation of the uh, Bimertech multimedia interface here for the Apple CarPlay and the Android. But this is the wireless version, as I showed in my unboxing video. This is a 2014 M5, uh, but it's the same for uh, any 5 series F10 uh, from 2011 to uh, 2016, 2017. First, what you want to do is you want to disconnect your battery for the M5. It's located in the trunk and right below here where the spare tire should be. Anyways, you want to disconnect the negative battery pole. Um, just like usual, you know, you un it's a 10 millimeter nut. You untie it and disconnect the, the, the cable. And then we're going to move on to the inside of the car show the removal all right so we need to remove the trim first um, easiest way is to uh, open the glove box go your finger under here and slowly start prying on the side here and then slowly See this whole thing comes off. Now we need to disconnect the clips. See this clip here? You want to disconnect it. You press in the middle. And try it out. Now you can see where our so we see only this line here. We need to disconnect. Basically, there is this little guy here. We have to press the middle two parts here. And we have a couple more. this one here as well press the middle get this guy press this here okay. right. so now we have only the clip where the wire is clipped and this can be disconnected simply by Lying on this little tab here. So tight. Those are metal clips look like. That's why it's very tight in here. But now we have this piece. All right, so now we need to take these uh, two screws off. They are T20. So I'll go ahead and All right, so now we took these two off. You can see it's not really moving. And I thought there is like some screw here or something, but and I took this off, but there's nothing really. Is this just a trim piece that clips on the whole piece here? So if you look behind, if you look behind, you can see. Look at you. A good angle you see that piece here the 
piece here is basically holding the trim back. So what you want to do, you want to put a screwdriver and like leverage the end on this and then pull. You can see it disconnects. It's basically just a way to clip it in, but it's metal, so that's I means good quality. So we can do it, we'll do the same thing here. two and you can repeat the same process for the other two to the back and the driving position so maybe it helps and the same thing here If you have a long screwdriver, there you go. So you see these uh, metal poles here that go into those clips here. Basically, the pole just goes inside of it. So we all we did is push it out, basically. Now we need to disconnect these two cables. Um, as you can see, it's. Typical BMW business here. These are easy because you go like this and it becomes like this. Those clips are the best in the business. All right, let's see this one as well. Same idea, goes up. We put it back in, it's the reverse, which I will show you soon. And then we have this piece out. Let's go ahead and disconnect these bolts here. Looks like they are the same size, T20. So we'll remove those and we'll be back. Right now I'm gonna tackle the screen because there's only one cable that comes out of it. So uh, you take this screw over here, there's one here, and then there's one here, yeah, if you can see them. Uh, same size as well, T20. We're going to Now yeah, you can see the bang and off on speaker mechanism that pulls it up and puts it down. So when this breaks down and you need to replace it, this is where you're gonna have to go. It's right there. So this would be the one that takes the speaker up and now you can see the hand the mechanism that will pull the speaker up from over here you see it pushed up and pushed down so all right now that we have this thing out we're gonna need to go ahead and disconnect the cable So, um, and honestly, this is going, was going from here. So I guess you could have easily disconnected it, you know, by just touching this side and pulling on it. But nonetheless, might be helpful because we're gonna reroute this thing from here. Anyways, the kit comes with the cable that will, uh, be connected to bypass the stuff so we have this end here on this monitor 
we're gonna have to use that same end over here. So let's go ahead and connect this guy. As you can see, it's the same clip. Let's go ahead and in no problems we're going to need to disconnect this guy from here because we're going to need to connect that one to the box that comes with the kit so we need to unclip Same idea, the middle clipping here. So this eventually will have to go to the new box. So now as you're thinking about where to mount the uh, the new box. This head unit is pretty big, so it's not gonna fit anywhere near it. It's not gonna fit in the back because of the cables. Um, there's not much room here, so the only room we have here will be by the glove box here on the, on the side. There's plenty of room, but um, even here probably works. And here, there's not really much room, I guess, I don't know, but nonetheless, um, I don't think it fits underneath the box over there, uh, and behind it, it will not fit for sure. Alright, so, I'm trying to contemplate where I should put the uh, media here. As you can see, this is the glove box. Now, uh, this car has a CD changer, I'm not sure about your car, it would be um, basically there are three screws here, there's one here, I took them off already, there's one here, and then there's one here, you take them off, and then you simply drop this down. CD changer. Like this, there is a connector in the back. You can see all the way over here. Uh, we're not going to disconnect this. So the idea is to feed the box from this opening here into this uh, area right in between. So uh, feeding it from here is gonna be impossible and it's better to just do it from this side. So we're gonna feed the wires from the left side and the box from the right side, connect them and drop it in. Um, the other way to do this is to actually remove the dash. So you would need to take all these off, um, these here and uh, probably a bunch of other screws and probably something on the side here which uh, might be a lot more complicated and as you know me on my channel i like quick working solutions anyway so that's what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and uh, try to do that okay so now we're, i'm gonna prep the wires here we have this is the antenna this is the wi-fi version as i said before uh we're gonna go ahead and start connecting these little wires here and there as you can see it's 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 got a quite a bit of length to it and we're gonna connect this guy and we're going to connect the usb cable and a 
think the USB cable I'm going to uh, we're gonna have to route it let's see from, from somewhere okay so the USB cable this is the end where it goes to the box and this goes inside all the way over there so what we did is you can see this um, zip tie out of a put a electrical to tape so what we did is first we pushed it in this hole there is a small hole over here so you put the um uh, the zip tie and then you keep pushing it until it comes from here where the wire is coming this black wire and then when it's up here you tape it electric tape it and then you pull the zip tie back all the way and then now you have the USB cable out here now from here uh, it will be there'll be enough length you know you can leave it there you can uh, put it in the fishnet over here uh, it doesn't matter um, since this is a wireless unit I'm not really concerned right now but nonetheless uh, this is what we did and removed the uh, CD changer you, ju you just unclip it from the side so you can have more room anyways now we're gonna try to connect the rest of the wires to the box and drop it in here and somehow we're gonna have to tighten it somehow we'll figure that out all right so now we're gonna connect the the wires I'm gonna go ahead and connect the antenna um, I'm gonna leave this in the glove box for now and then we'll see if it needs relocation you see it's a it's a normal antenna here then we're going to uh, this is oil from or the like a sticky material from the wires in the car now we're gonna have to fish it from we're gonna bring we're gonna leave this here So we'll let's set up the uh, jumper cables based on the uh, manual, the instructions that comes. So we, you can see the switches here, um, numbered one through eight. So one and two will always be on per the manual. Number three is for if you have a um, the big screen. You know, if you're in like an E60 or an F10, I think the big screen that has navigation. It would be the on position for the number three. If you have a smaller one, like so the smaller screen, if it's the F, uh, F10 or the... Uh, apparently this system goes on the E60 as well. Um, you would choose this to be off, so it shows into a smaller screen. Uh, that's about it. So we'll keep it as is right now. And go ahead and uh, connect the wires. Let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna, this is the power cable here so we're gonna go ahead and basically have to I'm gonna have to feed this here back but we don't want to lose the, uh, the cables connecting from here so there's that one and then we have the uh, we have the screen cable so this is the original cable the original cable let's see if it reaches here probably doesn't we need to let's get the power one route it from here as well while we're at it uh, we'll just 
kind of sorted right now. Through the hole. Clip. Not the greatest quality looks like. It should click and be steady. Hopefully this will hold well. Nonetheless, now we have these wires. I'm going to... This is the hard part now, is to actually... Get the screen in and screen out into position. Mind you, we have not tightened this screen bolted it up yet so we're gonna need to do that let me try to try to get at least LCD in and out here so you can see LCD in it basically goes in like this in and now this guy Shit. should go in as well similar fashion but I wish it was curved make things I presume it makes things easier. But let's see. There you go. So now that went in. Okay, so we're gonna show you here how to connect this quad lock thing. If you can uh, see the connector itself. So uh, there is there is this here, if you can see it. And there's one below. So what you wanna do, you wanna press with your finger on the one below and with the screwdriver on the one up top and then release the clip from here okay now that this is 
release. I'm gonna pull on it. And this thing comes out. So, as you see, these are the fiber optic cable. These two here, these are for the cameras. So we're gonna need to disconnect these guys and connect them into the other harness. So the way you do this is you take your screwdriver here, and you basically you lift from this side, from this side here. You see, you lift it up like this. You just want to lift it up, keep it lifted, and then pull on the on the wire at the same time. There you go. So this gets disconnected. As you can see, um, it's pretty tight. It's pretty well done. This thing. So now what we need to do is what this does now. We have this kit in here. That's the wiring harness that comes with the kit, right? This will go in here and this, now this will go, we need to put it in the same spot. So this was here, we need to put this back in here. So, okay, so what now happens, you might need to But you definitely don't want this to be cut or anything like that. So, as you see more glue. Now, we'll need to put this back over there. But now we need to put, let's see, which one is the easiest. So this was... You can see the quality is not the greatest with this cable. What we need is we need to we want it to latch. and it's locked in place okay now this connects to the original wire as you can see it goes down below like this
Okay. Like that. And it's locked in and everything. slide in but anyway I think what we need right now to do is to test it make sure everything works as expected before we button this up for now so we'll go ahead and connect the the negative terminal on the battery and try to check if it's working all right, so we connected the start button, so we'll go ahead and uh, press it. We're not going to start the car. We're going to press that. Turn off the lights, just... These green wires were not really connected well, so the whole Bang & Olsen system was not coming on. And I know... Uh, these are for the camera, but I think one of them is for the DSP system. I think so. So nonetheless, we're completely wireless right now. Playing here, no problem. The CD uh, CD changer. This you cannot have it without the CD changer, unfortunately. So you will need the CD changer to be connected for the audio to work. For some reason, it does not work. Um, if this is disconnected, it's not going to work okay guys so what happened here is we routed this power wire to the box from up it was going down it was going down into there if you can see so basically it was falling down into into behind over there and making this not go in all the way so once this is uh, fixed um, put the box over here basically slided it again from the top you can see this is the antenna and I put a zip tie around the uh, base of the antenna uh, socket so it's okay because the, ba the box it's metal and everything is metal everything is tight it's not a problem to tie it from here you don't want to tie it from here that will ruin the wire you want to tie it from the socket itself down below this will be fine so ran a zip tie around and tidy it up so you know it's sitting in place no problems this is mainly just to avoid rattles I'll put the wires together that's the wire here so the antenna I write it over here sitting on this piece of plastic uh, well you can see it well so this is basically where the antenna is going to be sitting the wire goes back here blah 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 and the box is there I mean, everything is connected right now um, the screen put back the screen with the screws the wires are all concealed you can see um, put some electric tape here and electric tape here and uh, now we have a screw here is fine now there's one more here one more here one more here everything's tight but I'm gonna try it one more time before I button everything up make sure the audio is good all right guys I'll show you how to connect your phone to the wireless uh, MMI here so first you want to do you want to make sure it's uh, you select auxiliary as your uh, audio input and uh, you can change here the volume make sure it's high not zero now you want to go to um, the interface so you uh, press menu on the iDrive and hold for three seconds it shows up over here you see the uh, Bang & Olsen speaker go up and down. I don't know why, but it'll do that every time uh, you're on a, um, uh, Apple CarPlay and uh, let's say you reverse, the camera comes on, it'll do that all the time. 
So now we go to settings. We go to wireless devices. We go to wireless Apple CarPlay. So it should find the phone in the <clears throat> in the cars uh, the MMI system. Search again. You'll have to wait until the uh, the search ends, so you can scroll down to it. It won't let you scroll to it until it's finished. So now you go down here and click on it, and then you click on the IP profile. You'll you'll get these notifications. You hit pair. You hit allow. And then you'll get another notification, CarPlay MMI, say use CarPlay. So uh, you, you want to enable Siri here to use CarPlay. So we'll go ahead and find Siri. So uh, we'll have to enable Siri. Um, you'll get the... Uh, Apple CarPlay interface. As you can see, uh, there's not much uh, apps here because you can enable and disable certain apps from it. You go to you go to Apple CarPlay. You go to General. You go to CarPlay, and then it'll show you my car. You go to MMI. You go to cust Customize, and then you can add more apps. Yeah, so the maps are need to be installed because uh, this, this is a newly set up phone. <laughs> anyway, to go back to the interface, you just you'll find this MMI here, and it'll take you back to connect another phone or whatnot. Anyways, as you see, it's completely wireless. So I hope you find this helpful. And so far, the gadgets. It's really, it's a really good upgrade so far. Alrighty, so you talk to you soon. Bye bye.